I'm absolutely thrilled to be here and to have the opportunity to talk a little bit to Stuart Kanan, who is a legend in these parts and in the world of violin playing. And uh, we share a passion for New Century Chamber Orchestra. Of course, he was the first music director. Mr. Kanan, it's wonderful to have the chance to meet you in person. Well, I'm glad that you don't have a mask on because now I know who you are. You're Daniel Hope. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were very kind to allow me to take it off. <laughs> okay, um, okay. To be at a safe distance. The, the but, risk um, is worth taking. Okay. We're here in the Bay Area and we're both connected through New Century Chamber Orchestra. Yes. Um, you, of course, have had a a long and amazing career, concertmaster, San Francisco Symphony of the Opera, Los Angeles Opera, as a teacher, as a chamber musician, as a soloist. And yet from 1992, you were the first music director of this ensemble. How did that happen? How did that come about? Well, I had, I was in the San Francisco Symphony as concertmaster. And frankly, I left because I was working for what they call a non-profit organization. And I heard in Hollywood they work for profit organizations. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, that's where we're going, dear. I said to my wife, Virginia, that's where we're heading. Because I had two kids. They were both in medical school. And that was taking a good chunk out of my, sure. uh, out of my salary. <laughs> so we went to Hollywood. And I, I broke right in, I guess, my ill-gotten fame had preceded me. And, and I got work immediately and became concert medicine for John Williams and uh, uh, James Horner and, and Alan Silvestri and all, all, all the, the biggest. huge film composers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and so I did, I did uh, at last count, I did 650 films. My goodness me. Uh, some of them, uh, uh, just name one, you know. Uh, <laughs> You've done it. <laughs> the, the Forrest Gump or something yeah. like that. Uh, anyway, I had stayed there about 15 years in the Hollywood uh, uh, the Hollywood milieu, and finally we decided to come back. And we'd always been good friends with Paula Gams and John, and we thought maybe it was time to do something else because the music was fun, but you never play it again. You know, you, you, yeah. <laughs> you play the music. The film and, music, you mean? Film yeah, music. Yeah, yeah I, I meant film music, yeah. of course. <laughs> so we we. Uh, we came back to San Francisco and uh, uh, met up with Paula and she said she had an idea. A couple of my f colleagues had suggested that we start a chamber symphony. Now, I've always been enamored of the string quartet, always. I just have loved the music. You know, I love, I love playing solo and all that, but but I don't know, there's something about chamber music that's the most wonderful part of music. So we said, well, let, let's look, think about this. So we met with Paula and uh, some of my colleagues uh, who I knew from the, the symphony. And we decided that we would get together, we advertised, we, this is, we had to choose a name, so we thought, well, the New Century Chamber Orchestra sounds like a good name, so it's stuck, I guess. It's okay. We never know which century you're talking about. It could be the, <laughs> the one coming up. <laughs> so anyway, we, um, we formed a, um, an audition committee, and we searched, and we thought we got very good people. And a lot of people applied for it because the idea, first of all, of not working with a conductor must have been wonderful for a lot of people. <laughs> 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 freedom at last. <laughs> <laughs> but of course, the freedom requires a certain much more conscientiousness than, yeah. than just playing the notes. Yeah. It requires that you really participate as a musician, which was important for these, these people. So we did, and we founded this group. For, at first, we played house concerts, mm -hmm. just quintets, sextets, just to give some of our so hope, hope for supporters. Yeah. And I mean financial supporters too, uh, an idea of what we might be doing. So we did that and everything seemed to be going positively. And uh, finally in 1992, we were ready for our first concert. 
And we had, and uh, oh, the board said, how many rehearsals do you need? I said, 25. <laughs> 25? 25, yes. It almost reminded me of Chalabadaki, who wow. needed 50 rehearsals. For, did so, you get them? Yes, we did. <laughs> yes, I said, I'm not coming in unless I know we, we have a good season going. I mean, and a good technical command and yeah. good music making and all the, all the rest. People don't realize that if you really could use those that amount, you could use it. Yeah, of because, course. Of One course. Can always yeah. rehearse. We can always improve. <laughs> yes. yeah. So we did, and that's uh, and gave our first concert, the opening concert. I wanted to show that we were no uh, just casual. After we played mm -hmm. the um, Eine Kleine Nacht music, mm -hmm. just to give us a little discipline and show, it seemed to go pretty well, and. Uh, we went on a Dvorak serenade, and I said, you know, there's so much uh, string music. We were 15 players then, uh, five first, four seconds, three violas, two cellos, and a bass. And, I, and so I, uh, I said, let's, let's go on and play a lot of string music that we didn't know because I know that boards of directors hate to see string players sitting or wind players not doing anything when, when you've got a hundred people on the stage they would prefer that everybody was working and earning their money but this this is the way it went so we uh, we found uh, the Dvorak serenade Tchaikovsky uh, serenade uh, for Clara Nacht uh, uh, the stable of the stable, of the chamber, yes, of, of course, the, of the string chamber music, yes. Yeah. So that's that's how it started. And uh, was it for you? And here mean, you are, Daniel. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I mean, you, you'd gone from a symphonic career, right. working in big symphony orchestras right, right. with huge sound, right. suddenly to a much <laughs> right. more, right. Um, you know, focused, right. option, almost autonomous right. kind of thing. What what was the feeling like for you? To was it was it a feeling of freedom, or was it even uh, just a different no? Experience? It was probably a, a freedom of more work <laughs> 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 because. What, what, what should I say, that it required every individual in the group to pay attention to, not necessarily for me to say, oh, it's piano there, you don't have the melody, or there's that, you know, for, to watch and see what you have and see if you can become part of a leader too, but maybe a second leader. And this is the way it went, and, and it was difficult at first because First, I had to after after 20 minutes of arguing and and the rehearsal was going you know out the window. I said, uh, "Sir," I said. Last time I looked, I was still the boss. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's what happened. We we finally got around to understanding that, and that's it's, the way it went. It, it's always a balance, isn't it, between allowing everyone to have their say and exchanging yes, ideas, but at the end of the day, you right need to make the, the decision. Right, yeah. right on the head. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. Although we don't have 25 rehearsals uh, per <laughs> set at the moment. I wonder what would happen if we did. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll always find more things to correct, yeah, believe absolutely. me, you know that. Absolutely. As a professional, you know, we, we're never really up to 100% at any performance. Of course. Uh, I shouldn't say that for the camera, but, <laughs> but we know that's we know true. That. Yeah. We know that. Um, did you see it going on as, as a long-term project? Well, I was... I was there for seven years, I believe, and I enjoyed every minute of it. I really did. And I was doing some work back in Hollywood at the same time and flying back and forth. And finally I said, that's it, I'm going to stay here and, and work with the new century. I felt I had done my stuff in Hollywood and I plumbed the depths, if that's the word to you. <laughs> <laughs> No, no offense to my former no, of course not. composers, of course not. and so we, we. I thought, I thought it would go on, yeah. and then I came time. I got offered Kent Nagano, the conductor, offered me the position of concertmaster of Los Angeles Opera. He had just been performed. He had just been made uh, named uh, head director. of the uh, yeah. music director. So I had to tell Paula and the board that I was leaving, but we'd find someone else. And we found wonderful people. Krista Benyon, different kind yeah. a, a musician than I am, but wonderful. Yeah. 
and uh, 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 Sonnenberg, Salerno also, and then, uh, am I missing somebody? Not you. I, know. <laughs> I came after Nadia. You came so after Nadia. That's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Right. And now, I mean, if we if we fast forward to 2020, <laughs> we're right. We're here. <laughs> right. And looking back at you know where the orchestra has gone and the journey it's made. Well, that's. I mean, that's astonishing because when I was in charge for the seven years, I'm a by the book guy. I I I. I didn't want to break the budget. I was afraid of that, not having any experience in budget breaking. So I did it that way. And But I realized that you've got to enlarge. You've got to, there are so many other wonderful, well, so, much, so many other wonderful pieces that are not played by big orchestras for one reason or another, that it's time to, to enlarge and do these things. And, and there you are, Daniel, right, right in my focus as someone who's going to take this thing on to bigger and better things. So I'm, I'm certainly hopeful for that. I just want to give a shout out to Paula Gams and John Absolutely. Gams because they've been, they sort of shepherded us. I didn't know how to start an orchestra or anything, and they were there, yep. and that that leads to today when we're talking. <laughs> exactly. No, the, right. the GAMs yeah. have been uh, an, an enormous yeah. force of yes, support right, and love right. for this whole community. Right, right. Well, thank you so much uh, for Daniel. giving us your time and for sharing some of these wonderful uh, <laughs> thank you. anecdotes and stories. Delighted um, to be here in my own home. <laughs> <laughs> Wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you.